The fundamental theorem of algebra is one of the cornerstones of mathematics. Unfortunately, it's not easy to prove using elementary methods. It can be done, it's just a lot more work. And so we usually prove it using complex analysis. So we have the following result. Every polynomial with real coefficients has a root of the form a plus bi. We can't actually prove this until we develop some complex function theory, but let's assume this is true for now and see where it takes us. So let f be a polynomial with real coefficients. Our theorem guarantees there is at least one complex root, z equal to a plus bi. Consequently, f of z is equal to zero. But since f is a polynomial with real coefficients, the conjugate of f of z is f of z conjugate for all z. We can prove that directly. The conjugate of f of z is... Now, remember that f has real coefficients only, and so the conjugate of each of these coefficients is just the original coefficient. And so we get... which proves our result. But now let's consider. Since f of z is equal to 0, we can conjugate both sides, and the conjugate of 0 is just 0, and the conjugate of f of z is f of z conjugate. And so f of z conjugate is 0 as well, which proves an important theorem. The complex roots of a real polynomial occur in conjugate pairs. Now suppose f is a real polynomial. Let its real roots, if any, be r1 through rk. By the factor theorem, every real root corresponds to a linear factor x minus ri, and we can write f of x as a product of these linear factors and some other real polynomial. Now if this other polynomial isn't a constant, then our theorem says that it will have at least one complex root. But since it's a real polynomial, the conjugate will also be a root. And since the number and its conjugate are roots, then their product is going to be a factor. Remember that the sum and product of a number and its conjugate are real, and so this product is also a real quadratic polynomial. And so that remaining polynomial has a quadratic factor. And remember, it has complex roots, so it can't be factored into real factors. We call this an irreducible quadratic. And now lather, rinse, repeat to prove the fundamental theorem of algebra, at least one version. Every real polynomial can be written as a product of real, linear, and irreducible quadratic factors. The real factors correspond to real roots, the irreducible quadratic factors correspond, by our assumption, to complex roots of the form a plus bi. And this means that the roots of a real nth degree polynomial are real or complex numbers. And this is important because, well, let's take a look at that next.